brake fluid. What's DOT? What's DOT4, DOT3, and DOT5.1? We're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by Auto Value and Bumper to Bumper. Visit us online for more information. So if you're flushing, bleeding, topping off a system, and you go to select a brake fluid for the vehicle, you may go to the shelf or your ordering screen and you'll see a couple different options. The main thing that you're gonna see is DOT3, DOT4, and DOT5.1. What does this mean? Well, DOT stands for Department of Transportation. They're the ones that set the specification for the brake fluid, and it's mainly about the wet and dry boiling point of the fluid. DOT3, well, that's designed for normal conditions, and it's been around, well, since the 1980s. DOT3 has a performance criteria for a certain amount of wet and dry boiling points of the fluid. DOT4, it's a little bit of improvement, and it has better viscosity under a wider range of conditions. DOT5.1, well, this is some of the best brake fluid out there that has some of the highest dry and wet boiling points. And it's also designed to work a little bit better with the valves inside of the ABS and stability control system. What sets a brake fluid apart? A lot of it is the manufacturing and the additive packages that are included with the brake fluid. You may notice I didn't talk about DOT5. DOT5, well, that's silicone based. And that should only really be used for collector cars that sit for a long time because silicone based brake fluid will not corrode the system. So check the owner's manual. Also check online with the service information to find out what brake fluid that vehicle takes. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.